Hey folks, this evening update starts with a 2 megavolt electron flux. After bottoming out at year-long lows, we've had the largest jump back up over any 5-day stretch, perhaps in many years. Average scales here show almost a 10,000x increase in electrons in geospace, which is no small matter, even though it is. And on GOES electron flux, we can see that between GOES 14 and 15, we have excesses of 10,000x increases in electrons and close to 100,000. I want to briefly bring back part of our spring forecast made in January now. Setting up for a continuation of the heavy snowfall this winter, perhaps even into early spring, and then a rapid shift brought on by the inevitable increased sunshine could make for the same type of tornado risk, fast snow melt, and heavy rain we saw in 2011, especially if the jet stream blocking remains in place, which is absolutely expected, and in fact, based on exogenous modulation studies in the solar physics literature, we do expect it to get worse. I remember the 2011 event on the Mississippi River, and it hasn't really been as much of a concern since then. Might be another one of those years. Good news, bad news type of thing here. Bad news is the flooding and tornadoes came much earlier than expected. I understand that it has become deadly now and there are thousands of people living in shelters. The USGS stream watch, high flow, and flood gauge maps show a tremendous surge from the sky that melted the snow like we were worried about. The good news is that the amount of snow to be melted wasn't as bad as in 2011. They do, however, have much more rain coming this week. You're going to see that and the rest of the world as we leave you with the Blood Echo wind map from QuakeWatch.net. I will see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.